Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 40 Days with Dietrich, our journey through the season of Lent. Today's passage is again from Testament to Freedom. It follows on very much with uh, the passage yesterday about uh, the precept of non-resistance. Bonhoeffer is writing about this again. Um, this would be taken from the same piece in A Testament to Freedom. Um, and so the passages are, are really do kind of go together. The title given to this excerpt is Nonviolence and the Cross. Bonhoeffer writes, Surely we do not wish to accuse Jesus of ignoring the reality of power and evil. Why, the whole of his life was one long conflict with the devil. He calls evil, evil. And that is the very reason why he speaks to his followers in this way. How is that possible? If we took the precept of non-resistance as an ethical blueprint for general application, we should indeed be indulging in idealistic dreams. We should be dreaming of a utopia with laws which the world would never obey. To make non-resistance a principle for secular life is to deny God by undermining God's gracious ordinance for the preservation of the world. But Jesus is no draftsman of political blueprints. He is the one who vanquished evil through suffering. It looked as though evil had triumphed on the cross, but the real victory belonged to Jesus. And the cross is the only justification for the precept of nonviolence, for it alone can kindle a faith in the victory over evil, which will enable people to obey the precept. And only such obedience is blessed with the promise that we shall be partakers of Christ's victory as well as his sufferings. So here we get a little bit of, let's say, the background of Bonhoeffer's pacifism. Um, and a little bit of the reason why he believes that the calls of Jesus um, are not impractical ideals. Uh, because for Bonhoeffer, he wants to root them you know, in the cross. So the words of Jesus and the call of Jesus um, aren't just nice religious sayings, right? Jesus just wasn't a good talker. He didn't just talk a good game. Um, didn't just provide these ethical lessons that we think, oh, well, that sounds nice. Let's try to live it out. Um, Jesus embodied everything that he said, um, and the full embodiment of it is the cross. Um, and we see that, right? You know, so you can look at the cross and say, well, you know, Jesus talks about loving loving our enemies and, you know, blessing those who persecute you um, in the Beatitudes. Well, where do we see that lived out? We see that lived out on the cross fully. Um, the, the call to ceaseless forgiveness, um, forgiveness to no end, right? Um, forgive 70 times, seven times, Jesus says. Where do we see that lived out? We see that on the cross, where do we see love completely dethrone the powers of evil and hatred? Um, we see that on the cross. So Bonhoeffer is linking everything to the cross. And that's why he's saying, listen, if we just kind of said, oh, we should all be non-resistant and non-violent, that's just kind of an ideal. And, you know, in some sense, we can't do it just by ourselves. It's going to be that's going to be the impractical ideal that we never live out. Um, it's going to be this utopian laws for which we would never obey. Um, and fundamentally, what Bonhoeffer says is that we deny God because we believe that the redemption of the world is by our own efforts. But no, the way of Jesus is to join Jesus at the cross as the place where that full power of love and nonviolence and non-resistance and, and forgiveness and peace, that is the loci uh, of that power. So the cross then 
Bonhoeffer says, is the only justification for how Christians are called to live in this world because we live in that reality. And so for us, then, as we journey to the cross, the the call is for thinking about, the call is to think about, what does that mean for us? Where does that lead us? You know, when we look at the cross and when we celebrate the cross, is that just something that, um, that we just wear around our necks that doesn't have any sort of meaning or any sort of transformative power for our lives. Bonhoeffer ends this little section by saying um, that it is as we live our lives, you know, last time it is as we practice the ideal, as we live our lives in obedience to life in the cross or life under the cross, because there we find life with Jesus. It's only there when we can fully adopt um, the assurance of Christ's victory, which is met in this place of, of combating evil through suffering. I'm sure this theme is going to come up again, so let's just leave it there. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what you're thinking about all of these kind of things. God bless you as you journey through your season of Lent, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.